deal with airplane peanuts. I'm Bob Isis of Isis Toyota. And we have a great collection of pre-owned certified Toyotas. But there's one thing I want to make very clear, and it's that we have nothing to do with the terrorists over there in the Middle East right now. And that's why we are the good ISIS. All right, listen, you gotta lean into the ISIS thing. It's yes. a good marketing tool. The great marketing tool. I agree with Barbie. I think you should be like, here at ISIS Toyota, we'll behead the competition. Yes. Oh, no, we're not doing yes. this. What are you guys talking about? We're not wishing death to any of our enemies. We are wishing death to low, to high prices. Me and Barbie, we can hold AK-47s. Yeah. No, no. That would be so cool. So I'm holding an AK-47, she's holding an AK-47, you're like, we got the best Toyotas. And I can be, like, I can be doing that like terrorist turkey gobble thing. You know what I mean? We're like, good at it. enough. At ISIS Toyota, we have nothing to do with Abu Bakar al-Baghdadi and his vicious gang of thugs. All we're trying to do is put you into an affordable, pre-owned, certified Toyota. Today is Monday, September 5th, and Gillian Keeves is coming out with a brand new season later this month. Shane Gillis was on the Joe Rogan Experience Thursday during a Protect Our Parks episode with Mark Norman and Ari Shafir, where he announced that Gillian Keeves, his sketch show, is coming out with a new season later this month, and it'll be available on GillianKeeves.tv. Take that, SNL, you silly bitches. And welcome back to the Joke World Comedy Update every single Monday, bringing you the comedy news that you need to know. From your favorite comedians, your favorite podcasts, whether it be new specials, new shows releasing like this one, or new guest appearances on each other's pods that you don't want to miss. All the best information in the comedy world in one place. So please consider subscribing to Joke World right now, turning on the post notifications so you don't miss anything, and downloading this episode on Spotify to support the channel. I'm losing money on half these things because you and your punk ass kids come down and fuck with our shit. You want an AK-47? Stop fucking with our Toyotas. Come down and buy them like a man. I'm, I'm under a lot of fucking stress. I'll go fucking nuts. We are closed on 9-11. If your dad was real ISIS, you'd be up in heaven right now covered in virgins. Yeah. But instead, you're a fat fucking virgin covered in used Toyotas. Yeah, that's what <laughs> okay? I mean. Okay, so. Fucker. I'd like to what do you fucking rip oh my fucking God. God. Come down to ISIS Toyota or I'll fucking kill myself and everybody here. So according to what Shane said on the Joe Rogan Experience, season two is set to premiere this September, September 2022, and probably later September, he didn't give an exact date, but it'll air off of their website, gilliankeeves.tv, most likely. So I went to check out this website, see what it's all about, see if they're gonna make you pay for season two. All they asked me for is my email, and then I got to watch whatever was on their website. So I don't think that this is gonna cost any money, but even if they did, Personally, I'm more than willing to chip in a few bucks so they don't have to do this on a network so they can do it by themselves. You know, have full creative freedom over the process of these sketches, all their jokes stay in. I'm okay with paying for top tier comedy in today's day and age. So I'll definitely be checking out season two, paywall or not. Leading up to the release of season two, they've been posting on their YouTube account, season one bloopers of Gillian Keeves, and those are hilarious. I think it's up to four parts out right now. And they also premiered the whole season on August 19th in a theater in Philadelphia. So a few people have seen these sketches. If you're one of them, let me know how they are. I'm pretty excited. Look, Bob, you need to get over your dead wife, get yourself a gold chain, and pussy just comes running, dude. You, you brought me over here in the middle to talk to me about getting pussy. It's a good fucking <laughs> <laughs> you wanna you wanna drag me away from something like this to talk to me about getting pussy right now? No, I brought you over here to talk about ISIS and then pussy came up. Oh no. <laughs> you wanna you drug me away from this to talk to me about pussy? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what you drug me away from this to talk about getting pussy right now. No, I told you we're talking about <laughs> oh my God. Did you two drug me over here to talk about getting pussy right no, now? No, I drug you over here to talk about ISIS. <laughs> oh my God. Damn it, dude. It's also been said that they're improving the production for season two, as well as hiring recognizable talent. John McKeever is the writer behind most of the season one sketches, with cameos from many comedians like H. Foley, Matt McCuster, Mike Rainey, and more. Season one has many hilarious moments, like the dad's only fans and the Trump speed dating, so I have high, high, high expectations for season two. I'll be checking it out, paywall or not, on GillianKeeves.tv. Then the uncles participate in a variety of activities that suit their skill set. Okay, Uncle Tommy. Yeah. How old are these girls? Are any of them underage? Well, you can do this. It's a tough one here. I know. Okay. Go ahead. They're all beautiful angels. Right, but are any of them underage? I don't know. So I have to assume they're all they're all underage. All Great of them. Great job, yeah. Tommy. Yes. I'm so proud of you. Yes, I'm proud of myself. Remember guys, as developed as they may seem, it doesn't mean they're 18. Ugh. Just my computer? 
you guys get this laptop? Some exciting news for all the Tuesdays out there. We had a brand new comedy podcast hit the scene last week from the producer of Tuesdays with Stories, Chuck Staten, and his friends Brad Rewer and Ray Harrington comes Fun Bearable, a brand new comedy podcast between these three guys coming out every week moving forward. This woman who was a fan from way back, Mm. like when I was like, I'm just starting to feature, right? That guy. Uh, she wanted to come to the show. She had previously been banned Ooh. for activity outside of that. Uh, she showed up, and uh, Becky, the wonderful bartender yes, here at the club, Becky. Becky's the best. Uh, she was like, "Hey, so she came, and uh, she wanted to give you a cake. Oh boy, for your birthday. Well, that's nice. All right, all right. And she was saying she wanted to surprise you with it on stage. No. And, uh, too much. No yeah, and way. I was like, no, no, I yeah. don't want that at all. And uh, she's like, okay. And it, this woman tried so many times to like sneak up to her seat with mm. the cake. Wow. And eventually Becky was like, we're going to hold the cake. Cut to the end of the show. She comes into the green room. She hands me the cake. The cake says on top in icing, happy birthday, N word, Ray. Wow. <laughs> Fun. That's all it says. It's a good frosting. birthday. Wow. <laughs> I, ne- I never thought I would ever live Who, to see do you think the N word in frosting. Did you think she had it made at a bakery? She did have it made at a bakery. Wow. At a, not a bakery bakery, a grocery store bakery. Right. And, and she, she told me the story of how she had to fight with the person to have them make it. <laughs> but here's the deal it didn't say my N word, Ray. Right. Yeah. It just said it just, happy birthday, N word, Ray. Do you have words. a picture of it? A little. I do not have uh, a picture you, of it. Oh, we need that photo. Oh, that would be good. That just would be good. a little Huckleberry Finn energy there. Yeah. Right. Mark Twain. <laughs> Insane. Not in quotes. Nope. Nothing just wow. that. Wow. The weird part is, uh, as soon as I looked at this cake, I was baffled. Yeah. I was just like. <laughs> Can I ask a it's question? It's kind of a good way to have a diet, you know? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't no, eat that. I don't no, want to put no, that no. inside of me. Yeah. You know what? Just I'm write the eat, N-word I'm on all your foods. three quarters of the cake. I'm just yeah. Gonna, but the, wait, now I'm leaving this. I should eat it first. You should eat the yeah, E yeah. on the ER yeah, first. Yeah, there you go. Is there any reason that you can think of that she put that on the cake? No. Come on. No. I, and she this wanted this on stage. That's she wanted to give it to me on stage. Like, that would go well. I know. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Let's treat this like a safe space. Did you have an ironic stage name that you're... Uh, <laughs> yes. Were you in the Chitlin circuit it before was when, this? It was when I had a catchphrase. Yeah. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Happy birthday. It just happened to be your birthday. Yeah. 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 Mark Norman appeared on episode one, which is out right now. And they've already teased some future guests, some great comedians such as Joe List and Kevin Ryan. So be sure to check out Fun Bearable on YouTube right now. Subscribe to their channel. Watch their podcast. We're definitely going to continue to report on it moving forward. Definitely a show with a lot of potential. Now I gotta take a second to talk to you about the sponsor of this video, our friends at the Freeze Pipe. Whether it be a handheld beast like this one or one of their monster bongs, Freeze Pipe just hits different. And that's because it's built different. The Freeze Pipe uses glycerin, a non-toxic gel that freezes quicker than water and stays frozen much longer. The glycerin chambers are designed to improve how much and how long your smoke is chilled for. So you put the pipe in the freezer, this part gets completely frozen. You put it in for an hour, this part's completely frozen. Then when you pull smoke out, it goes around these coils, so that by the time that the smoke hits your mouth, it feels like winter, dude. You don't even know that you're smoking this. It's so smooth. Shipping is always free and comes in discreet packaging. This is honestly one of the smaller items that they have, but still has a good amount of weight to it. Thick glass and packs a very heavy punch. I like it for the ad read because I get to like point and talk and use it like a gavel. But check out their website. They have things way bigger than this, way more complex, things that would blow your mind. If you're curious at all, just click the link in the description. Go check out their website just for fun. They have something for everything at thefreezepipe.com and use code JOKE10 for 10% off your order joke 10 support the channel support freeze pipe back to the video guest spots from last week your mom's house did not have a guest two bears one cave was bert and tom tom and bert tiger belly also did not have a guest it was just bobby and kalila whiskey ginger talked to sam morell this past weekend with theo vaughn had on nick swartzen the joe rogan experience last week had a protect our parks episode air on thursday which if we're all being honest is the best quality podcast comedy content available right now uh that group is just kills it every single time and then he also did a fight companion with brian callen eddie bravo and brendan schaub the flagrant podcast had on russell brand which is a very enjoyable episode we might be drunk talk to tom papa and then kill tony tonight is the great and powerful joe rogan 
We have two new specials that came out last week. Number one is a YouTube special from Brian Callen called Man Tears. I was surprised to see it. I didn't hear about it coming out before, but I did watch it and it was enjoyable. It was definitely a Brian Callen humor special. So if you're a fan of Callen, you're definitely gonna be a fan of this special. And then Sam Morell, same time tomorrow, came out on Netflix last week. We did a video about that last Monday and we're also going to do a video reacting to your guys' thoughts about the special. So go check out our community section where we posted thoughts about the special type whatever you want in there and then some of the comments will be featured on a video moving forward but that's it for the joke world comedy update this week thank you so much for watching as always make sure to subscribe and like and do all the you know dumb youtube stuff just to help us out here at joke world thank you for being a part of the brand and part of the community also everyone who's followed us on instagram and dm for the free stickers those will be coming out to you in no time we got kind of backed up there a lot of demand which is sick thank you guys for following us on instagram We're really trying to build that thing up and thanks for getting these free stickers stick them all around the town dude support the brand joke world to the moon thank you again they're coming soon i didn't forget about you and if you want some you can still sign up dm us joke world on instagram enough of me goodbye